Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. This video is a very special video for me. This is going to be a video dedicated to an incredibly special group of second graders at Snyder Elementary, room 303, Miss Rendon's class. All you guys and girls right there watching this, this video is for you and you only. Everyone else can watch it, but I'm dedicating it to you guys. All right, you all adopted me into your classroom this year as an honorary member or I adopted you all I'm not sure which way we went with that <laughs> you all have inspired me with your enthusiasm your excitement for growing your thirst to get out and learn and then for a lot of you you have started your own gardens which absolutely touches me right here and I want to say as we get ready to go into this video, that a special thanks has to go out to Mr. Scott Head over at Black Gumbo Southern Gardening for creating this challenge. And another special thank you has to go out to Miss Rendon for taking this, my idea, and my way of showing this amazing challenge into the classroom for the last three years. More on that to come, but hey, let's get ready and let's grow. Okay, so this is a final update video for the single seed challenge for this school year. This is super special to me. I love the single seed challenge. And the fact that we have been able to take this into the classroom and teach all of you youngsters all about gardening and the fun of getting out and getting your hands dirty and dirt in your nails and growing is just amazing to me. And I have heard from so many of you that you have gone home and created your own gardens. That is awesome. Always grow something. But before we get to Tiny Elvis and Priscilla over here, let's go back and recap how we got to this point. Too much fun. All right, today is the day. I'm going to announce shortly what I'm going to grow for the Single Seed Challenge 2023. So, this year I'm gonna do something a little different with the Single Seed Challenge that I've never done before. Now normally I always do two seeds of the same plant and grow them side by side. But this year we're gonna have a little fun. Because the second grade classroom picked green, they will be growing this tomato. Look at how crazy that thing looks. As you can see, it's a Phil's 2. Well, I will be growing a Phil's 1. Now, this is kind of like an orangish yellow. Now, I did tell this the I did ask Miss Rendon to tell them green or or orange because I thought this was more orange, but it's actually kind of more yellow, but it's all right. I will be growing Phil's one for my single seed challenge, and then I will also be growing Phil's two for the second grade classroom's single seed challenge this then year. I have one more announcement that I think all the kiddos are going to be excited about. The final thing I want to discuss is something that I have a lot of fun with with this challenge. So from the first time that I started this challenge back in 2021, I wanted to do something kind of fun and unique considering I'm in Texas. And I wanted to 
put my own little spin on this challenge. The very first year I used this Whataburger cup, which is a local restaurant here in Texas. If you've been to Texas and you've eaten at Whataburger, you know how good the food is. And I used that cup for that year. Now, last year, I decided to go a different direction and I used the Chick-fil-A cup. This year, before the Christmas break, the students of her classroom decided to throw out a whole bunch of options for me to use, for, of different cups to use this year. And I'm surprised that not a single one of them actually guessed what cup I was going to use this year. So, <laughs> to reveal the cup that will be used for both my challenge and the second grade classroom's challenge is a local gas station chain here in Texas. And I think they're starting to ex expand throughout the South. And do y'all know what it is? Classroom? All right. We're gonna use Bucky's. Okay, so for the most part, they all kind of look the same to me. I don't see any really big ones. But, I think I'm going to choose this one, right? Where'd you go? We're going to choose this one right here. Yep. So... We put the seed right in the center. And there we go. Use a Q-tip to push the, the seed starting mix down around it. And we are good. Second grade classroom seed has been sown. Now let's... You have got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, everybody, so you guessed it. I just planted the single seed challenge not three days ago. It was last Sunday, today's Wednesday, and I set the camera up just in case there was something growing and y'all would get my reaction. And as you can guess, <laughs> in three days, wait till you see this. Okay, so before I show you though, <laughs> remember the cup with all the coloring on it is from the second grade classroom. The other cup is my single seed challenge. Two different tomatoes, but kind of the same. So are we ready? I'm ready. And I am completely, completely blown away by this. <laughs> all right, everybody, remember this is the second grade classroom's single seed challenge plant, as you can tell. And here we go. Remember, in only three days, look at what we have. <laughs> look at the growth of that little seed in three days, y'all. It's been 15 days since I started the Single Seed Challenge here on Down Home Backyard Gardening for 2023. And already, the plants are about two to three inches tall. I'm going to show them in just a minute. And then I have an announcement coming from the second grade classroom. So all you kiddos, you know it's about to come. See, the top of the second grade classroom's plant right there. Now look at how good that plant is doing. And then mine is right there. Also doing really, really, really good. Both They were tasked with coming up with a name for their plant for this year. And it could not be any of those other four names. It had to be something unique. Now, <laughs> I found out that they came up with a name. And I love this name. This name is fantastic. And the teacher told me she had nothing to do with this name. She had no influence on it. 
not the name, not the voting, nothing. The name that they came up with is completely unique to those second graders, and I love it. And I know my daughter is going to love this name because she's seen this movie like 20 times, literally. <laughs> so without further ado, everybody, the second grade classrooms single seed challenge plant this year is named Tiny Elvis. <laughs> I love it. Tiny Elvis. How, how, I mean, come on, that is awesome. Awesome. So Tiny Elvis is their plant's name. And I always like to kind of keep them in the same area. So my plant this year will be named Priscilla. Why not? Priscilla and Elvis, Elvis and Priscilla. I, I just think it, it, they go well together. And yet again, the minds of second graders came up with this and I love it, tiny Elvis. I mean, <laughs> this is awesome. So excited. And they're about to go into their final home. Okay, so let's do the honors to tiny Elvis first. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently loosen up the soil a little bit here and get him out. Now, as you can see here from that one seed, look at all those roots. Tiny Elvis has an amazing root system. Look at that, super, super strong. Tiny Elvis is in the ground. Let's get Priscilla. Now remember, Priscilla is my single seed challenge here on Down Home Backyard Garden. Again, another great root system. The top of the soil came off a little bit, but that's all right. We'll get her taken care of here. about something that happened last year. The cup that the single seed challenge was in last year was a Chick-fil-A cup. And just like and just, this year, the kiddos from last year's second grade class got to decorate their cup. After I planted Moonlight last year, I gave that cup to the teacher, Miss Rendon, to do with whatever she wanted to do with it there at her classroom. She ended up she doing ended up something where the one of the kiddos won the cup. And the kiddo that won the cup is this little man right here. His name is Mason. You can see this was taken a couple weeks ago. He still has the cup. This young man is an example of why I love the single seed challenge so much because he took the love of this challenge and totally got his parents to build him big raised beds in their backyard. And he's growing even right now. This is why this challenge is so awesome for students and young people and everybody, honestly, because it shows that not everyone has a green thumb. But I think a lot of people do, and they just don't realize it. So this is a way of showing it. Now, this year's cup right here, now that Tiny Elvis is over there, is going to the second grade classroom again, and Miss Rendon will do whatever she does and give this away to one lucky kiddo right there in this classroom. I can't Let's see what else we got going here. A lot of, a lot of flowers, so that's really good. Let's look at Priscilla over there. She's got flowers also. Not as many, but Tiny Elvis has the first tomato of the year for this channel and the first tomato of the two single seed challenge plants. And if we come in here on Priscilla, she has finally started putting on tomatoes of her own. So both these plants are doing really good, but look at how crazy that one tomato is. That's one tomato, y'all. Just the craziest shaped thing ever. Those are all the tomatoes that we just got off of Tiny Elvis. And I'm quite, quite happy about that. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go ahead and get all the tomatoes we can off of Priscilla. You can see Priscilla has a lot of tomatoes. So this is going to be fun, but this one right here has to come off right now. This one is, for the most part, almost completely ripe. What a crazy shape that is. 
Now, each one of these are individual tomatoes. <laughs> that is something else, y'all. Okay, so I think we're done. I, look at all of these. I mean, holy mackerel. <laughs> okay, so how awesome was that? We just saw everything for the single seed challenge. And we went from the seed to right here. Now, this is Tiny Elvis, and this is Priscilla. And as you can see, Priscilla has a lot of tomatoes that need to be harvested, which we're going to do in just a minute. But first, so we saw that Miss Rendon was going to give the cup that we started Tiny Elvis in to one of the students. And I am very excited to say, and I did get permission from the parents, that Mr. Trip Andrews, you young man right there, won the cup. So I hope you love that cup, I hope you use that cup, and I hope you use it to start other plants in. But I also heard that a lot of y'all were super upset that you didn't win, and I understand that. So what I decided to do, because your words to me last Friday really, really touched my heart, I decided to go to Bucky's, as you can see right here, and I did something. So, Ms. Rendon, I'm going to ask you to stop the video right here at this point, and we'll be right back. Okay, so Ms. Rendon has now passed out a cup to every student in that classroom. And I went to Bucky because I wanted to give each of you all something that you can use to grow your own seeds that is from me as a thank you. So, each of you all got a Bucky's cup. I put your name on each one of them and a little note, a little, a little message to each of y'all. And I hope that inspires you. But let's do something together right here. The first time that we can do something together. So I want everyone to get a pencil, any kind of pencil, or a pen. Once you have that and everybody's ready, what we're going to do together is we are going to put drain holes in the bottom of each of your cups. So together, take your pencil. And we're going to start right in the center of the cup. And you're just going to push the pencil in. It doesn't need to go all the way in. It just needs to create a hole. Once you're done with this one, we're going to go north, south, east, west. Just put a hole, just put a hole right around the rim, just like this. Now, guess what? Your cups are ready for you to grow your own plants in, or one plant each time, however you wanna do it. But now your cup is ready to rock and roll, and we finally got to do something together. So, there you go. Use this cup and grow. Grow, grow, grow. Okay, so let us now, together, it's, I wish I could have all y'all in this backyard with me to do this, but let's do the final harvest of the school year on the single seed challenge plants together. Okay, and there we go. That is a lot. Those are a lot of tomatoes off of Priscilla. And then look what I just noticed right there. Look at the size of that pepper. Let's get that pepper off there too. Because I know a certain teacher who absolutely loves peppers. And look at the size of that. I know that's totally off the subject, but I tend to get squirreled when it comes to gardening. Okay, so that was the final harvest of the school year for Priscilla and Tiny Elvis. I wish Tiny Elvis had some tomatoes that I could have harvested. Um, he hasn't really put on a lot of tomatoes, but the tomatoes that he has put on, once they get to ripen, I've been able to harvest them. And I've shown you all also. So that is really cool. But Priscilla has put on over 30 tomatoes so far that I've actually been able to harvest. And that is incredible. Okay, so to end this video, I wanna thank all of you awesome awesome kiddos who are about to become third graders very soon 
and you're about to go into a great summer. I hope you enjoy your summer. I hope you have the best summer ever. I hope you continue growing. And I hope you are ready to rock and roll in third grade because I know for a fact that you all have had one of the best second grade teachers ever. You've been completely blessed to have her as your teacher and I know she has prepared you for third grade. Now, whether you're going to the new elementary or you're staying there at Snyder, either way, you all are prepared for third grade. And I am super excited for you guys and gals. So with Tiny Elvis and Priscilla behind me, I want to say if you all see me at Kroger's, H-E-B, Walmart, the mall, wherever, come up and say hi. And I'll know you all are from Miss Rendon's class if you call me Mr. Chad, because you all are the only ones that call me Mr. Chad. <laughs> so for the final time, take care, God bless, and what? I know y'all said it. Continue to shine bright and harvest hard. Have the best summer ever, and be ready to rock and roll next school year. I know y'all got it. So I'm going to end the video with something that you all love for the end of my videos. anyone is ever traveling in Texas or like I said across the south and you see this restaurant I'm sorry and you see this gas station pop up pull over and go in I can't tell you exactly how awesome this re the, I keep saying restaurant how awesome this gas station is <clears throat> all right hey everybody it's been 15 days since I about to see and Again, today is January 15th. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Again, today is February 15th. Okay, before we finish this video, I'm covered in dirt. I got dirt in my nails. <laughs> Also, we're also going to start actually really matured are really mature here and two of these plants were actually <laughs> so for the final time this school